Do you remember who is the father of the aviation industry? Or should I say, fathers of the industry? In 1903, the Wright brothers achieved the first powered, sustained, and controlled airplane flight. This is an important milestone. From here, it became easier to transport goods and travel around the world instead of using sea, rail, and road, all of which are time-consuming and divorce, completing their journeys after weeks and even months. After a century, people have reached out to a new frontier, the universe. On the 11th of July, Richard Branson and other astronauts had safely touched down after soaring to the edge of space by his company's own Spaceship 2 vehicle. It has been named by the world as the opening flight for commercial spaceflight. So, in today's episode, let's find out with Great Space X the successes Virgin Galactic achieved through this flight. First of all, how was the flight? The Spaceship 2 vehicle named VSS Unity took off from Spaceport America in the southern New Mexican desert at 10.40 a.m. Takeoff was delayed by 90 minutes because of weather overnight that slowed launch preparations. The vehicles flew to an altitude of about 13,700 meters before White Knight 2 released Unity at 11.25 a.m. After separation, Unity ignited its hybrid rocket motor, which uses a mixture of solid and liquid propellant to begin the boost phase. This carried Unity to its target altitude of 53 miles or 86 kilometers, where the pilots and crew experienced four minutes of weightlessness. They exited their seats and enjoyed sweeping views of the Earth below through the many round windows that dot the space plane's fuselage. Then, they glided back down to Earth, landing on the runway at the spaceport at 11.38 a.m. to complete what the company called the Unity-22 mission. The launch of the VSS Unity passenger rocket plane marked the company's 22nd test flight of its Spaceship 2 system and its fourth crewed mission beyond Earth's atmosphere. It was also the first to carry a full complement of space travelers, which included two pilots and four mission specialists, Branson among them. And so who were the other people that flew with Branson? The vehicle was piloted by Dave McKay and Mike Masucci, who previously flew on the second Spaceship 2 flight to space in February of 2019. Beth Moses, the chief astronaut instructor at the company, served as the test director for cabin activities. Colin Bennett, the lead operations engineer at Virgin Galactic, evaluated cabin equipment and procedures. Sarisha Bandla, Vice President of Government Affairs and Research Operations at Virgin Galactic, evaluated the ability to do human-tended research by performing a plant experiment from the University of Florida arranged through NASA's Flight Opportunities Program. However, the person on the flight that attracted the most attention was dubbed Astronaut 001 by the company in promotional materials. Virgin Galactic's previous plans were to fly Branson on the next Spaceship 2 flight in the vehicle's test program. However, the company announced on July 1st that Branson would be part of this crew to evaluate the private astronaut experience that the company will offer to future customers. How does the success of the flight benefit Virgin Galactic? It's a triumph long in the making for Virgin Galactic and Branson. The company was ahead of the curve in its space tourism ambitions, but in 2014, a test flight ended in a horrific crash and the death of one of the pilots. The company's engineers and leaders worked through it, however, and built a stronger, better spacecraft, which is now called Unity. And the primary objective for Unity 22 is to serve as a test flight for future passenger flights by Virgin Galactic. Virgin has said it plans at least two further test flights of the space plane in the months ahead before beginning regular commercial operations in 2022. This is no discount travel service with at least $250,000 per seat, but demand is apparently strong with several hundred people already having booked reservations. The Swiss-based investment bank UBS has estimated the potential value of the space tourism market to reach $3 billion annually by 2030. The successful flight on Sunday also gave Branson bragging rights in a highly publicized rivalry with fellow billionaire Jeff Bezos, the Amazon online retail mogul, who had hoped to fly into space first aboard his own space company's rocket. Congratulations on the flight, Bezos said on Instagram. Can't wait to join the club. That's all the information we have for today. Let us know what your thoughts are on today's topics in the comments below. Remember, 
thumbs up if you enjoyed the episode and subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of future great SpaceX content thank you so much my team and i will see you next time